Grab your um, journal. Up the top, write lesson 16. Mu multiply mixed number fractions. Multiplying mixed number fractions. Okay, first things first, we are going to make a math tool, okay? So can you grab a blank piece of paper and a marker or a pen or whatever you want to write with? At the top, write multiplying mixed number fractions. Now, pause me and write all this down. Okay, did you get that written down? Let's start, okay? So, what I would like you to do is go back to your journal and I would like you to write down this for me. Two times by three and nine tenths. Okay, the first thing that we do. Number one, look on your math tool. Change mixed numbers into improper fractions. Okay, so any numbers that are not improper fractions or are not a fraction, we need to change into a fraction, right? That's our whole goal, is changing them into fractions. So, two. If you have two, what is that? How could you write that as a fraction? Because we need it as a fraction, right? Any whole number that's written like that you can just then write like this. Two over one, okay? And that will help you to do, to do you know, multiplying or whatever you need to do. So whenever there's just a, a whole number, you just put it over one, okay? Now times by, we need to change this into an improper fraction. Do you remember how to do that? Three times by 10, is 30 plus 9 is 39 and then what denominator do we use that one okay so we did our first step change mixed numbers into improper fractions good multiply the numerators okay so let's multiply these numerators 2 times by 39 I need to write that down. I can't do that in my head. So 39 times by 2. 2 times 9 is 18. Carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 1 more is 7. Okay. So we have 78. We multiplied the numerators. Now let's multiply the denominators. 10 times 1 is 10. Okay, so now what we need to do is simplify. Well, our answer, we don't want it to be an improper fraction. What do we want it to be again? A mixed number, back to a mixed number, right? Your answer, whenever you have an answer, it's not really gonna, you're not gonna leave it like that. You're gonna simplify it down. You're gonna make it into a mixed number, simplify it. But first, before we do that, can we simplify this at all? Is there anything that we can divide both of these by? They're both even, so let's, multi let's divide them by two. Okay, so um, 78 divided by two is, what, we just times it by two, is 39, what's 10 divided by two? Five, right? So now we have 39 fifths. Now we can look at that and change it back into a mixed number, right? Do you remember what we do? How do we change this back into a mixed number? We draw it out. I just draw it out. So we have 39 fifths. I'm getting a new piece of paper. 39 fifths. Okay, so let's go like this. One, two, three, four, five. We color that in. There's five. There's, so there's remember, and there's one. We have one hole, one hole. There's five. Okay, here's two holes. There's two holes. 
There's five of them. So five, 10. Okay, let's make another hole. 15, there's a hole. 20, there's a hole. 25, there's a hole. Thirty. There's a hole. Okay, how many more can we do? We have thirty-nine. We're doing it by fives, right? So there's a hole. Okay, so there's thirty-five. And there's a hole. So how many holes could we make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we used thirty-five of them, right? So we made seven holes. We made seven holes, right? Okay, and how many did we have? 39. We used 35 of them. So how many would be left? We did seven holes. We used 35. So 39 take away 35 is four fifths. We simplified that down, right? We put it back into a mixed number. Seven and four fifths is our answer. So, two times three and nine tenths equals seven and four fifths. Okay, let's do another one. Can you try this one by yourself? Try this one all by yourself. Three times by two and a fourth. Try that by yourself. Now remember, what do you do? to the three, you put a one under it, right? Line one. Okay, pause me and try it. Did you get an answer? Let's do it together, okay? So three goes over one. What's my first instruction? Change mixed numbers into improper fractions. Here we go. Three over one can stay, it's a good improper fraction. Two times four is eight plus one is nine, nine fourths. Okay, three times nine is 27. One times four is four. Okay, now I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna simplify it. I'm gonna change it back into a mixed number. Is there anything I can divide it by though to make it smaller right now? Is there anything I can divide 27 and four by? I can't think of anything. Okay, so let's just now write it as a mixed number, okay? So if I have 27 fourths, how many holes do I have? How many holes of the fourths do I have? So here's one, here's a hole with four, here's a hole, Eight. Here's a hole. Twelve. Oh, twelve. Here's a hole. Um, Sixteen. Here's a hole. Twenty. Here's a hole. Twenty-four. Okay, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I cannot make another hole. So how many can I fill in though? I can fill in three, right? So I've got how many holes? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six holes. And then what? One, two, three, three fourths. So my answer is six and three fourths. Can I simplify the three-fourths down anymore? No, I can't, right? So your answer is six and three-fourths.